Let me, let me first start by underlining the importance of shipping for the Cyprus economy. Uh, shipping is one of the three main sectors we have in Cyprus. Uh, the first one is uh, tourism, the second one is financial services, and the third one is uh, shipping. So shipping is uh, considered very important for our economy. It contributes around 7% to our GDP, directly and indirectly. So what I can say about the last 18 months is that um, we have witnessed an increase in the level of uh, shipping activity on the island. So we have seen a number of new companies starting activities on the island. Also, our fleet uh, has increased, uh, not as much as the number of companies on the island. Uh, and we consider this very positive, um, taking into consideration the crisis that shipping faces everywhere. Now, what we have done in the last uh, 12 months, we have uh, commissioned a study, a study that basically um, gave us an insight of what we need to do to develop shipping further, because it is our objective to develop it further in the next uh, two to three years. Based on the study, we have set up um, some uh, groups jointly with the private sector, and we have started implementing some of the recommendations they made. Obviously, uh, being part of the European Union and of course uh, following all the instructions, directions from the IMO, um, you have to keep up uh, with the environment and we need to comply with all the regulations uh, that basically have to do with the production of the environment. So we have a number of uh, uh, directives that are coming into force like the MRV and uh, as a department we are issuing all the necessary circulars uh, to the people who have uh, ships registered under our flag so that they comply with all these uh, new uh, requirements. Obviously, uh, shipping, uh, as I said before, is one of the main pillars of the economy. When we had the crisis in 2013 in Cyprus, um, uh, a lot of people that had worries about the Cyprus economy. But what we have done, regardless of the crisis, we have not changed any of the uh, fiscal, uh, anything from the fiscal environment that shipping operates within. So we maintained all the factors that attracted the shipping companies to Cyprus. And because of that, uh, shipping was not affected negatively because of the crisis. Actually, uh, I have to say that uh, shipping acted as a stabilizing factor during the crisis because it is an industry which is not related directly with the local economy. So when we had the crisis and of course all the local companies they had to face a huge crisis, uh, shipping was not affected negatively and this uh, assisted to make the crisis uh, less in Cyprus. I believe that Cyprus is definitely one of the best uh, international flags. It's a flag that has been there for many, many years. We have a very competent department which basically knows and recognizes the needs of ship owners. Um, actually, we did a recent study and we found that our flag is included within the five top, flag, top flags in the world in terms of service. We do believe that, of course, we can make further improvements and it is our goal to make further improvements through uh, various measures that they have come up out from the study that I mentioned before. And yes, I do believe that Cyprus is definitely one of the best flags in the world. What I want to say basically is that Cyprus attracts a lot of uh, people from the shipping industry everywhere, from all over the world. And of course, this includes people from Greece. Uh, but uh, I cannot say that um, basically, uh, of course, we have any target of attracting Greek ship owners. Now, you do understand that with the crisis in Greece, a lot of uh, Greek ship owners, they felt that they had to have uh, some alternative plans. And these alternative plans, of course, included all the major shipping centers in the world. And naturally, one of those centers is Cyprus. So in that sense, yes, a number of Greek ship owners, they have opted uh, of starting operations 
in Cyprus as a number uh, of uh, Greek, sh Greek ship owners have opted to start operations in some, in some other shipping centers. So I cannot say that only Cyprus uh, or specifically Cyprus benefited from this crisis. Firstly, let me say that uh, this year this uh, conference is extremely successful. Uh, it has a lot of participation. Um, and uh, basically, uh, I do believe that uh, it shows that uh, Greece remains as a center of uh, shipping. Now, what we can see from the mood of the ship owners is that people are worried about the prolonged uh, shipping crisis, especially people who operate in specific uh, market segments, like, for example, uh, Rikar. And uh, everybody is uh, basically wondering when this crisis will go away. And, uh, of course, they need to face all the difficulties associated with this prolonged crisis. So, what I can say is that, um, of course, people are happy to be in this great conference, but on the other hand, you can see that everybody, basically, um, you know, uh, the, they are worried about uh, the prolonged crisis.